Oh guys, I'm scared. There's an app out there that lets people ask me anything they want anonymously. And I asked my community to ask me anything they wanted. I'm super curious to see what people ask when I don't know who's asking. I've got this app on my phone. I shared this link right here. I got a ton of responses here. It counted at one point and I was over 500 questions. So when I open one, it looks like this. And this is a question the app just asked me. How many selfies do I take a day? Way too many. When I'm making thumbnails, I have to sit in front of my little webcam and go kind of embarrassing. Now, while we do this, guys, I'm going to be playing through this amazing map here. This is a collaboration Team Beyond did, which is my friends like Maka Makes a Shrine. They made this whole city. It's a death run. And I'm going to play through the death run. And look at this cool city road. Clearly, this is a sponsored thing with Honda. But I wanted to play through this. I'll answer some questions while I do this. Once again, this is completely anonymous and totally random. So I haven't seen any of these questions. Let me just open one. Here we go. Boom. What's your favorite food? Frowny face. Why is there a frown? Lasagna. That was an easy one. Let's keep going until we find a hard one that takes takes longer. There's some maps that are good, but don't get the recognition it deserves. Okay, so maps that don't get enough recognition. Wait, what is this? Interact? Oh, oh cool! It's a little zip line! That was an awesome first level! This is already a really cool map here. I would say maps that don't get enough recognition right now, I would probably say adventure maps are probably the number one things that don't get enough recognition. I feel like adventure maps were kind of big for a while. And stuff like the Dungeon Prison Escape that Word Andrew did, and a few other cool, like, horror maps and stuff like that. But I feel like since then, there's been some actually really great maps maps that have come out. And maybe I'll play one soon. But I feel like adventure maps always get overlooked for either combat maps or even death runs like this. All right, what's next? This is your chance to really get at me. What season did I start playing Fortnite? Man, you people are too soft on me. I started when Save the World came out. So very, very beginning. Where do you get inspiration for your builds? I get inspiration all over the place. Playing maps like this gives me inspiration because you never know what kind of what are you going to learn. Like already, I've seen some levels I've never seen before like this where you grab it and you, whoa, that's cool. Mostly it's from other things that I do. Things like, watching movies or reading books or playing other video games or watching animes. Like, I get a lot of inspiration from doing other things. More than that, I would say the number one thing that helps me, whoa, that was weird, is I force myself to come up with new ideas. Whoa, 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 what is this? We got moving bumpers. Ah! <laughs> like I said, I force myself to come up with new ideas because I have to for my YouTube channel. I try to upload every day, except for Sundays, and as a result, I have to come up with new ideas all the time, so I'm always sitting there brainstorming what can I do that's new and different I feel like a lot of people just get lazy and they say I don't have any ideas and they don't like really try hard to come up with good ideas and so they get stuck doing nothing whoops whoa I, I have no idea how I made that I hit like a barrier or something I don't make maps because I think it's gonna get a ton of plays I make maps because I think it might be interesting on YouTube all right I want to find like a really juicy one here so I'm gonna go through some of these oh hey do I know when creative 2.0 is gonna release I don't know I have no idea guys there's no inside information. I'm sorry. How old am I? Oh no! I'm 39! I'm an old man. Okay, this isn't really juicy. This is a good question. I want to do something like what your brother does. How can I do that? What my brother does is he's over all of the creative stuff for Epic. Not just Epic Games, but Epic in general. And I'm not really sure how you get into that. The way Donald got into it was he kind of started from the ground up. Like Donald actually started his own company a long time ago and they started making small video games and got noticed by Epic. Epic bought them. Epic liked Donald. And then Epic hired Donald to do all of their creative, which was really cool. So I would say now, what do you do? I would say start making maps, make games, get noticed. Wait, what do I do here? Do I have to avoid these? Okay, this is kind of cool, actually. Uh, get noticed, right? Get noticed by Epic and maybe they'll hire you. I've seen a lot of people in this community get hired by Epic Games because they made awesome maps. Okay, I think I'm going the right way. Oh, I missed a checkpoint. The so work hard, get noticed, and you can get there. Have I ever thought about quitting Fortnite? Oh man, that's a good one. Uh, no, uh Yes. Honestly, I was kind of of, uh, on the edge of quitting Fortnite before creative mode came out and then creative mode came out and I was like converted to a new game yeah creative mode kind of brought new life to me and I thought about quitting Fortnite not necessarily Fortnite but quitting YouTube so many times guys making YouTube videos is really hard and it's a grind and when you're not seeing success it can be really hard to keep going until you find that success whoops I missed that level wait 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 it says I finished it I didn't even have to get the checkpoint okay that's cool I've thought about quitting YouTube a lot. Whoa! That was awesome! Ah, what's going on? Oh my gosh! Well, this is crazy, guys. I don't think I've ever quite played a level like this. This is really fun. Fun. Okay, let's get to the end of it, and there we go. So yeah, I've thought about quitting YouTube, which probably would mean I wouldn't play as much Fortnite. I probably would still jump on it a little bit and play with friends. I wasn't just doing YouTube, but uh, YouTube has kept me on Fortnite probably 
forever. How long do you think it will be until Fortnite dies? And do I have any other hobbies beyond Fortnite? I still don't think these questions are super juicy. This is just kind of a really good question. So let's answer it. Um, I don't know if Fortnite's gonna die anytime soon. I know a lot of people out there probably say, oh, Fortnite's dead, but it's not dead. There's still people that are playing, millions that are playing it right now, let alone like throughout the day, there's tens of millions of people playing Fortnite. But I think a better question might be, when is Battle Royale going to die? And I don't know. I think Battle Royale has another three or four years in it before it's like truly like no one's playing it anymore. But creative mode, I don't know if it's ever going to die. Like if Epic can really get creative mode into a place where people can come in and play games on Fortnite, not just maps, like these little maps are really cool. But like what we're seeing right now is basically the extent of what we can do. But if Epic can get to a point where we can play real games, like the Among Us game mode is a good example of like a game mode, but even that is too small. Like I want to be able to like develop a game and creative and then it's distributed in the to the Fortnite world, which is available on mobile. It's available on console. Wait a second. Can I just skip that battle? No, you can't skip that. Fortnite is available everywhere. PC, consoles, mobile. And because of that, you can be distributed on all of those things just by clicking publish in Fortnite Creative. And if you can actually make real money doing creative maps and stuff, like once they change how money is made in creative mode, I feel like maybe even big developers or big map makers or even independent video game developers will get into creative mode because they can make more money making maps than doing individual games on like Steam or something. And if Epic can get creative to that point, it will never die. And then another hobby for me is reading. I love to read. Oh, do I have any piercings? I don't. No piercings, no tattoos. How close am I to Donald? Uh, I'm pretty dang close to Donald. As you guys know, he is my brother. Wow, I really uh, missed that. Wait, what the? Oh, I just beat the map. I've got some money I can spend. We got the Cypher PK lounge over here. Let's uh, purchase the lounge access. All right, we got it. Let's go in and let's see what that is. So this is Cypher PK's hangout area. He even has a slide in his area. Okay, this is awesome. But how close am I to Donald? So we're both adults now, right? I just said I was 39 years old and Donald has a family. I have four kids. So we don't get to hang out as much as we'd want. When we do hang out, it's like we've never been apart. We're super good friends, super close. But I only get to see him at most once a month, sometimes once every two months. Yeah, I found a couple of good questions. Let's just go through these real quick. If you could swap jobs with your brother, would you do it? I don't know. I love what I do, but what my brother does is pretty awesome. I would probably say no though. I have no regrets. This is a semi-personal question, but do I feel lower than Donald? Or do I feel like I've achieved much raising a family and doing what I love? I learned a long time ago not to be jealous of other people. Jealousy and comparing yourself to others just robs yourself of happiness. And I don't do that anymore. Do you ever feel like you're missing out on features and creative because you're Donald's brother? Yes, I do. I feel like Epic would have been really happy to work with me without that little hiccup. Why don't you and Donald play anymore? Epic won't let us. In order for any employee at Epic to speak, in order for any employee at Epic to speak publicly, they have to get permission. And Epic almost never gives permission. How do I manage working parent and creating content. Well, creating content is my job. So that helps, but it's hard. A lot of work. I spend a lot of nights working, a lot of weekends working, and it's not easy, but it's worth it. Let me know if you guys like this. If you want me to do it again? Thanks for the questions. Love you.